Eddie Holbrook, an encourager, a motivator, a disciplinarian. The head basketball coach at Gardner-Webb from 1964 to 1978. Coach Holbrook is best known for building Gardner-Webb into a basketball power of national stature. His record at Gardner-Webb was an amazing 343 wins and 65 losses in 14 seasons, an average of 84% winning percentage. Holbrook oversaw the program's transition from junior college to senior college. In all, the Holbrook years produced eight All-American selections and five running Bulldogs drafted by NBA teams. Coach Holbrook's series of firsts began in 1965 through the 1966 season, when the college posted its best record to date, a 22-6 and mark. The team won the conference championship and Holbrook was named Coach of the Year. In stride, his team in the 1966-67 season won the regular season conference championship, the conference tournament, and two holiday tournaments as well. With a 22-5 and record in hand, Holbrook was again named Coach of the Year. In the years that followed, Holbrook's success grew even greater with four 30-win seasons. Holbrook cemented his place in college basketball history. National rankings were common among his teams, finishing near the top of the final National Associated Press polls several times. The 1971-72 team averaged a school record 104.3 points per game, went 31-5, and, and finished fourth in the NAIA National Tournament. At one point during his 1976-77 season, Holbrook's running Bulldogs were number one in America, and the team never dropped below number two all year. It was during this time that Holbrook put together his most impressive mark, the start of an 82-game home court winning streak. Hello, Bulldog Nation. This is where it all started. As I stand here now, I think I can still hear Coach Holbrook's voice. Gut busters, stage jumps, Make the time or we will run again. But coach, I made my time. And Coach Oldwood would say, everybody's got to make it. And so then I knew the meaning of teamwork. And coach, thanks for being a great role model and making me the man I am today. Congratulations, Coach Holbrook, on an honor well deserved. Coach Holbrook had the gift. He could recruit. He built excitement and a support system for his program. He and his coaching staff could teach and develop players to become the very best basketball players they could be, and in the future, to become even better men. He built a legacy of winning and success that still echoes in the Paul Porter Arena 30 years later. My name is Artis Gilmore, and I remember quite a few years ago being a student athlete here at Gardner-Webb Junior College I, regrettable that I could not be there tonight in person, but I'd like to congratulate Eddie on the, the naming of the court and certainly as one of the greatest coaches that uh, I had to work with during my uh, career. The Eddie Hallbrook Court dedication brings the history including all of the hard work and dedication that occurred in the Boss Gymnasium to the Paul Porter Arena. Thank you, Coach Hallbrook, for the contributions you have made to Garden Web University, and again, congratulations. Excel for excellence. It wasn't very good. You, everything you did was excellent. You had to be excellent. Years after I left, I said, man, that was tough love. That's what he was doing. But when I was here, I thought it was tough. I didn't think there was any love and anything was going on here. But I look back now, and you have done a lot for me. And I can't thank you enough. I love you, Coach. Coach Hallbrook, congratulations on uh, the court being named after you. Uh, obviously, it's a great honor and most deserving. I know a lot more about you than you think I do because of Kevin Cantwell. Kevin was my longtime assistant who played for you. As a matter of fact, our first year in coaching, Kevin gave us uh, your offense and we used it. You're a great coach and this is a great honor. Enjoy it. Eddie Holbrook was very, very, very adamant about winning, hardworking, and getting your education. Forty years after that, I'm thanking Holbrook for that guidance. Coach has taught us many things over the years. The two things that stick out in my mind the most are hard work and excellence. You taught us that if you're excellent at what you do and you work hard at it, you'll be a success. So for all of that, we say thank you, we love you, and we hope that God will reach you and bless you. I thought at the time they were teaching us about how to be successful at a sport, but as it turns out, they're also teaching us all how to be successful in life. Congratulations to Coach Holbrook and Coach Hooper on the Holbrook Court. 
he told me some things I could do better, but he, he certainly worked on the things that I could do well, and he let me do them. I thank him for that. He gave me six, some success. And the congratulations to him on the Holbrook Court, his family. Uh, he, he, he was the best coach I've ever heard about or seen or, or been associated with. First class guy. Thank you, Coach Holbrook. Congratulations. Congratulations, Coach Holbrook, on your court dedication. The one thing that uh, I still have nightmares about is Hooper yelling uh, to bring those chairs out and get the clock out to run those gut busters. Still have sores on my ankles from jumping on those stage, those stage jumps. So, but anyway, um, congratulations again. You pushed us to be tougher and stronger than I personally ever thought I could achieve. I had the scars on my chins from all the stage jumps that we used to do, as I'm sure many of your former players do. I am thankful and appreciative that I had the opportunity to play for you. Congratulations, Coach. Coach, I just want to say thank you for making me Holbrook tough. That toughness has helped carry me through life's most difficult circumstances. And when I think about what made us so successful, I think it was simple. We were in much better shape. We were tougher. And we never worried about our opponents. We only worried about what we wanted to do. And if we could impose our will and set the temple we wanted, they were in for a long night. Thank you again, and God bless the Eddie Holbrook Court. Well, Sir Edward, seems like yesterday, 54 years ago when my eyes first fell on you, and uh, uh, this is the ultimate compliment that an institution can pay on a coach or employee to name something for them. With your legions of friends, Lenore Ryan, honored to have you in its Hall of Fame, Sports Hall of Fame. We all put our arms around you in loving tribute to the great Holbrook Nation and the great work of Eddie Holbrook. I just think it's a great, uh, great honor and, and great recognition for Coach Holbrook and what he's done uh, and what he's meant to the college because I know he stayed with it even after he quit coaching. Uh, everyone at Lenore Ryan obviously is very proud of him and I'm sure everyone at Gardner Webb is uh, extremely proud and, and I'm thankful for people like Eddie Holbrook being in my life. Coach Eddie Holbrook, I want to say congratulations to you having the court at Gardner Webb College having your name on it. I want you to know that I think this is a fantastic honor. I hope you're remembering a lot of those wins because I used to come down and watch the Bulldogs play. But congratulations, this is a fantastic award. Enjoy yourself. Hey Dad, I just wanted to take the time to congratulate you on having the basketball court at Gardner Webb named after you. How cool is it gonna be that every game there will always be played on Eddie Holbrook Court? I still remember as a kid, you conducting practices and going to your games and watching you yell at the likes of Dave Borman and Ed Cook and Carl Martin, George Adams, John Drew, Artis Gilmore. Man, what great memories. But congratulations. Thanks so much for uh, allowing me to be a part of this special day. And um, go Bulldogs. And again, we love you and uh, look forward to seeing you in Columbia at a baseball game soon. Thank you. It's hard to tell people how good the players were, how well they executed, and how badly uh, they, they would beat teams that were equal to them in talent just because their mentality was such that we're not going to lose today. And, um, you know, they were never, teams were never more prepared than, than we were. Teams were never in better condition than we were, obviously, and, and I think players take pride in that now, maybe not so much then, but now it's like there's no way that uh, that people worked harder than we did and deserved it more. And uh, so Coach Holbrook, you know, truly, you, uh, you will always be a Bulldog. We love you, we thank you, and we appreciate you so, so much.